Welcome back to Track Talk, brought to you by McCarthy Auto Group. We're in the McCarthy Auto Group studios at Racing Boys HQ. Again, we're the Racing Boys. We're talking Central Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Fame. And let me tell you, folks, there's not a person I'm more happy for today than our next guest. Billy Deckman joins us here on Track Talk. Longtime friend of mine, mentor of mine, the guy that taught me what it takes to win races, even though I didn't win that many. Um, taught me the right mindset. Billy Deckman again joins us now. Billy, congratulations on making it into the Central Auto Racing Boosters Hall of Fame. I'm so happy for you, bud. Thanks, Scott. I really appreciate it. I appreciate uh, all the nom- all, all nominees for sure, and um, I'm glad to get uh, – definitely appreciate getting into it. So, uh, And, uh, yes, you're a longtime friend of mine, and we did a lot of winning when you was with me. So, I think we you know won – I think in 1986 or five, I can't remember what that Wallace car won 22 features that year. Uh, what an amazing car that was. We'll get into that here in a second, Billy, but let's start off by talking how it all began when you were helping Roy up there on the hill in Riverside. Uh, that's where it all started, wasn't it? That's true. Uh, he uh, actually I moved into his neighborhood and uh, rode my bicycle by there one day and seen the race car sitting out there and then tricked me, so... Just uh, went up and introduced myself, and uh, that's how I got started. Hey, Billy, congratulations. Uh, I uh, first watched you. I, I was still living in Iowa, come down and uh, watch you guys race at Lakeside Speedway, and somehow you always stood out because the confidence you had behind that race car, and it showed while you're out on the racetrack. That's when, the way I When see you it. win, you stand yeah. out. That's well, I mean, works. well, not yeah. only standing out, but uh, even before I saw you win, yeah. you yeah. stood out. But you've always been around winning, even when you're – around the race cars, helping out your daughters or your sons-in-law. They all won. And uh, what? who influenced you uh, as far as the competitive aspect of it and uh, having the confidence to go out and win? Well, first of all, you have to do your homework at home before you can go win. And uh, right. I uh, have a lot of people. I had a lot of people around me that, that thought that way, and uh, that's the way that I was kind of brought up. Let's just say I raced with some teams a couple times that went that wasn't prepared. And when they got in the truck, they had the mindset that they wasn't going to win. They were going to run first or second. Mm-hmm. And I, in my career, I, I never left the house. And it may sound arrogant, but I never left the house thinking I couldn't win because I knew that we did our homework at home. And if we had a little luck at the racetrack, then we could, you know, uh, win a race or two. So, yeah. Hey, Billy, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, a man. 